know, this alternate world that he lives in, you know, I mean, $20 million, that sounds a little bit far-fetched to do re-registration. He's also pointing out that because of the Senate um, Select Committee, um, the, through the investigations that is taking place right now, he wants that to finish first and then look at the issue of quote unquote illegal nationalities that he can review that. Again, that makes no sense. That holds no water. Simply because he has those files available. We're, about, we're talking about a little over 2,100 questionable um, files of, of nationalities that were issued between October 2011 to um, February 2012. So all he needs to do is to so have the immigration department to review those files, and then if anything, wrong, if anything was done wrong, then he can correct it. He does not have to wait until this investigation is, um, has um, taken place. Now, he likes to say, well, give us a solution. How can we bring down the cost of re-registration? Well, there's a simple one that I want to propose to the prime minister. Because they're saying that it is very costly to the, to the political parties because then they have to take their supporters um, to register and then bring them back and it's a huge exercise. Well, I, we would be prepared to support if, there's, if they make an amendment to the law whereby that to access any services from government, you need to give your registration card, your voter's ID. And if they do that, then you would go on your own to register because you know you need that card to access the services of the government. That's a simple example or idea that can be given to the government. But again, we are claiming victory on this one because we were telling there, we were saying from early on that you must have re-registration before redivisioning. It still can be done. There's no reason why it can't be done this year. Um, in that circumstance, is there any way that the government can be pressured to um, move up, perhaps? Uh, well, it can only be done if we do it collectively as a community, as citizens of this country, um, to make sure that they have re-registration right now. Obviously, it is not in UDP's interest, political interest, to have re-registration right now because they have padded certain divisions. And by padding, having people registered in those divisions where they don't live. It gives them an inherent advantage, like San Pedro, Belize City, Belmopan, San Ignacio, Santa Elena, and um, Benke. Because we know that a lot of people have been registered in those areas and they do not live in those municipalities.